Welcome to the place where your mixed recyclables come to be sorted. This is the tipping floor of a materials recovery facility, also called a MRF. Here comes a split body truck dropping off or tipping residential recyclables at the MRF. These trucks have a compartment for recyclables and a compartment for trash. As you can see, all those blue bins filled with bottles, cans, and papers really add up. A loader scoops up the material and drops it into a drum feeder, which slowly and evenly drops the recyclables onto a conveyor belt that carries material into the sorting facility. A web of conveyor belts carries thousands of pounds of material through the sorting process. A team of employees remove contamination, or non-recyclables, such as plastic bags, hoses, and other trash. Rotating discs, called star screens, shoot paper items up the line, while plastic bottles, metal cans, and glass jars fall through to another conveyor underneath. Other workers continue to pull contamination from the recyclable paper stream further up the line. A sifting conveyor sorts out broken glass while containers continue through the conveyor system. Back on the conveyor line, a magnet pulls out ferrous metal items including food cans and lids. An eddy current separator pulls out non-ferrous metals. Watch for aluminum cans jumping off. There goes one! An optical sorter uses light waves to recognize various types of plastic. A jet of air directs each one to the correct bin. The entire MRF system sorts incoming loads of mixed recyclables into separate streams of paper, plastic, metal, and glass. The facility handles cardboard, too. Separated cardboard comes off a conveyor, creating a massive pile which will ultimately be baled. At the end, all of the materials are baled for shipment to a manufacturer who will turn them into a new product. Each week, thousands of pounds of baled plastics are loaded onto trucks and shipped to a processor for recycling.